Hi everyone and welcome to the second installment of my Build Your Card Stash series. Um, today all of my cards feature Spellbinders dies. Okay, so all of my cards feature the Spellbinders um, small die of the month and it's 10 dies. And they make kaleidoscopes. So here are all of the hexagons. So you get three hexagons, three circles, and you get four of these. And I keep all of my stuff in a small 4x6 container. Um, I keep the dies with it and then I'll cut up this page and add it to it. Um, probably after this video since I've shown it. So, for all my cards, I just went with a white and gold theme. Sorry for the glare, but hopefully when I hold up the cards, you'll be able to get a better sense of what's going on. Um, all of these card bases are Spellbinders A2 card bases. And then the white backgrounds are from this white embossed stack that I picked up from Tuesday morning. The white paper that... Um, these shapes are cut from is this five and a half by seven and a half stack but I'm a sparkling co so I picked that up from Joann's I've had that for a while and the gold paper is just a card base uh, by recollections I picked this up a couple years ago when they were on clearance or after Christmas from Michaels I've had them for quite some time I don't use them as card bases. I um I use them as paper to cut things out of. Okay, so my first card is this landscape card and it features the circles and the hexagons and the center one um is two layers instead of three, but the gold layer is on top. And everything else is white gold white and then there's a gold strip behind it and it has a sentiment that says sometimes the smallest things take the most room in your heart and that is from the stay wild stamp set it's part of the June no May card kit but you can buy it on its own for like five bucks I think from spellbinders I'll leave a link below and I have a piece of that embossed paper behind it this next one features those gorgeous like triangle shapes. So I did the layers white and gold and I alternated and then I cut a circle layer um, in half and I made it look like a flower. And then I, for the card I covered the whole front in a gold piece and then matted another embossed piece and used this hello friend sentiment and this is a Tim Holtz quotations sticker hopefully the glare is not too bad and you can see everything but I think it's gorgeous so this one features just the hexagons layered and then I have a thin piece of gold and the sentiment says you are loved and again another piece of that embossed paper behind it this one features um, the gold, the gold foil paper behind it and then this is actually a strip of um, embossed paper and then you have gold hexagons here and then this gold like leather bow and then the sentiment says make a wish and it is from that Tim Holtz quotation set and then lastly I have this card again with the embossed background and I used um, the hexagon and this is just one layer of the hexagon and I just wanted gold here to make it different and then half of the hexagon and then this love you always is from a spellbinder sticker sheet but it's no longer available but it's a clear sticker so I just thought that fit so here are my cards and this die is still available. <clears throat> I will link it down below. It is for the month of June, so it's still available. So, 
using those same pieces that I use to make this card, I was able to make some faux poinsettias. I'm working on some Christmas in July like embellishments and getting ready for some of those swaps. So I wanted to make some poinsettias and I used some glitter paper and full paper from some 6x6 pads that I've had. And this is what I came up with and these are just some embellishments. I think I picked these up from Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance. And I used three different styles of the um, of this. Three different like layers to make these and I love them love them love them so that's another way that you can use those dies and I have some pieces cut here so I may just try to make another poinsettia and show you how I did it let's see if I have enough bottom pieces this is white gold maybe if I flip them it won't make that big of a difference. Uh, I will. Maybe I can just make a smaller piece. I'll make the top two layers. So basically when you're working with these dies to make the poinsettia, I did um, three for one layer, three for the next layer, and six for the back layer. And you just line them up. If, if you line them up tip to tip, you'll have a bigger flower. But for me, I crossed them. So say this is one layer, I would cross them some type of way like this to make the inside layer. And then once I had that, I would go in. Let me just make a quick flower and see how it comes out. So I have some glue here. This is art glitter glue. And I'll cross these. And then... I have some on the back and cross that one and when I cross it it just helps me get a better angle um, so all my petals aren't like straight it actually forms some type of little flower. So this took five petals. And I just fold them in. I may like um, shape them down and then fold them in. So they kind of curve up. So that would be that would be a flower and you can just add some type of center to it um, if you space them tip to tip you may be able to add like make this the center of the flower kind of like what I did here but you'd have to do like tip to tip but yeah so that would be the start of a poinsettia I just use the thicker bases the, the less detailed um, pieces for the bottom and then the more de detailed pieces for the insides. But yeah. So that is how I built my card stash as well as my embellishment stash. Um, using the small kit of the month by Spellbinders. So if you have the kit um, and you... Like, I get the kit as a part of, like, the value pack. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I wasn't feeling inspired. Um, so, actually, I made these first. And then I was like, okay, let me actually use this and make some cards. So, then I just played around with gold and white, which are two of my favorite colors um, to craft with and just in general. And I made this one first. And I felt my creative juices flowing. So, if you do have the kit... Just give it a try. You never know what you'll come up with. I was able to make five cards and I still have leftovers that I can play with for at least one other card. And then I can go back and do something with this flower. So yeah. 
that is everything. Um, so thank you for watching and have a good day.